Welcome to today's service in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Almighty God bless you as you watch. May the Almighty God bless you as you share. May the Almighty God bless you as you comment. May the Almighty God bless you as you invite even your friends and your enemies to join us even at this moment. Today we present to you the last stanza of Greater Than Moses is here. Today, we want to present to you greater than Moses and Elijah is here. Jesus Christ is greater than whosoever that you think at, that can ever help you in life. Whosoever that you think is planning or plotting to pull you down. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is greater than them all. And for this reason, this day, I want to assure you that God is with you in your battles of life. God is with you in your challenges. And you will never lose this battle. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may the atmosphere be saturated with the fire from above. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let us go to the book of Matthew chapter 17. And I'm going to read from verse 1. And after six days, Jesus appeared to some, to some of his disciples to show them his, his real or true identity in what was termed in the scripture or in the Bible as the transfiguration, transfiguration or transformation. In John, in Matthew chapter 17, Jesus took his disciples, he took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brought them up into a high mountain apart from others. He separated them from others, and he wanted them to know who he is exactly. He wanted them to know the difference between him and those that have ever been. And he wanted to transfigure to show him that he is real God. Hallelujah. And he was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun. And his raiment was white as the light. Hallelujah. He that is greater than Moses, he that is greater than Elijah, will show himself to you to prove himself by showing you the evidence of his power. And so be rest assured that God is with you in all your battles. He will separate you from others to show you who he is. He separated Peter, James, and John, his younger brother, to show them who he is. That he is not just an ordinary person. Brother, by Jesus by your side, you are not an ordinary person. You cannot be consumed as others we are consumed by their, by their predicaments, by their challenges. Your challenges will not destroy you, will not consume you. Rather, your challenges will make you stronger. For greater than Moses, greater than Elisha, greater than Elijah, greater than anyone that has ever been, is involved in your case. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before I continue, let me talk, take you straight as a reminder to the books of Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3, and I'm going to read from verse 1. Of Hebrews chapter 3. Follow me to that great scripture. In verse 1 of Hebrews chapter 3. I read. Wherefore. 
brethren or holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. Those who are called by his name. Those who are referred as Christians. Those who are referred as brothers and sisters. Those who are even re referred to as Muslims or heathens or unbelievers. <laughs> even those who are considered to be men of God will want you this day, even as I want you this day to consider the apostle. Consider and hand over your case to the apostle and the high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus himself. Hand over your predicaments to him who was faithful to him that appointed him. He was faithful to God who appointed him to come and set you free as also Moses was faithful in his household and even in the house of the people of God. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. Because there's nothing that is, there's nothing that was, there's nothing that will ever be, that is not, that was not made by Jesus himself. The Almighty God Himself. <coughs> Praise the Lord. For every house is built by some man. But he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house. I mean the house of God. As a servant for a testimony of those things which we are to be spoken after, as we are speaking about it today, Moses was faithful. You are expected to be faithful as well. Hallelujah. For greater than Moses is here. Moses was faithful to the house of God. Moses was faithful to the house of our glorious Christ, Jesus himself. And so John uh, Matthew chapter 17 is telling us who this Jesus was and who he is in our life. He came and introduced himself to all of us and called some people aside to show him his real identity. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Talking with him, all of a sudden, as they were there, waiting, he took them aside. Because many have compared him before. They have compared him with Elijah. Because Jesus said, who do men think I am? And some of them said, some said you are a prophet. <laughs> and some said you are Elijah. Mm -hmm. And some said you are John the Baptist. And he asked them, whom do you say that I am? Do you have any clue of who I am? But only Peter was able to, to provide a clue. And he said, you are the Christ sent from above. You are the Messiah that we have been waiting for. And Jesus spoke to Peter and said, flesh and blood has not revealed this thing to you. Only my father who is in heaven. Only the spirit of my father that revealed this thing to you. And because of that upon you, Peter, will I build my church. You will become the rock of salvation to many. You will become the rock of deliverance to many. For those who will believe you. For those who will believe what you will tell them concerning me. And then, in this time of transfiguration, he selected Peter, selected James, 
and selected his younger brother, who before now thought he's just a normal human being like him. After all, they are of the same mother and father, so to speak. And so he wanted these people to witness what they never expected, what they to, to be able to have a story to tell others. But he did not go with the whole crowd. He selected these people because he knew who they are, even before they were selected. And he called them aside by the mountain. He called them aside, separated them from the crowd, and showed himself who he is. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. And then Peter, the rock upon which the church shall be built, the rock upon which the revelation of the glory of God will be used to manifest on this earth. He asked the question, Peter, Peter answered and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. But what we are seeing is beyond our power. What we are seeing is beyond our imagination. We have read a story about Moses and Elijah. And we are told that they were dead. But now I can see them standing with you. They did not come here with us. They just suddenly appear that they are speaking with you. Master, Lord Jesus, what is going on? What is going on? As one of the comedians used to say, does it mean I have something is wrong with me? Master, what is going on? And you know what? <laughs> and then, let us, if thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, three monuments, three altars. Let us build three tabernacles here. Let us build three altars here. One for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. You know, the mind of man, when I'm going, we have two God, three gods now here. The two departed gods, <laughs> that's, I'm paraphrasing. Moses is a departed soul. Elijah is a departed soul long time ago. We only read about them in the scriptures. But here we can see them. And re right now we reference you as the God that came down from heaven. To help humanity. Now we have to make one altar for you. Where we will worship you as our God. We are going to make another altar. For Moses. Where we worship him. As our ancestors. As some people used to say. As our ancestor. And make another one. Where we will worship him. As one of the departed masters. Or one of the ascended masters. And so let there be three altars here. Let there be three monuments here. Let there be three tabernacles here. One tabernacle for Jesus, one tabernacle for Moses, and one tabernacle for Elijah. And Jesus looked at these people and said, Hey, this is why I never wanted other people to see this. Look at what is in the mindset of Peter. That they are going to build three tabernacles. For the worship of one God that is in me. How can that be? Three tabernacles. Three altars. Three monuments. And then what it means is that inside of their mind. They will be worshipping three gods. <laughs> and Jesus had this to answer. Ah. While he was just speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. 
overshadow them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved son. Don't compare him with Moses. Don't compare him with Elijah. Don't compare him with any man. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him and believe in him. Don't talk about making any other tabernacle, any other altar. For greater than Moses and Elijah is the one that is speaking to you. He has been transfigured. He has shown you whom he is. Even before him, Elijah and Moses, they appeared and they spoke with him. From henceforth you know who he is. I have to introduce my son to you. He is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This is the voice from heaven. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. From henceforth, you shall hear no other voice. From henceforth, you will believe no other man. From henceforth, you make no other, no other altar. From henceforth, you build no other tabernacle. From henceforth, you build no other monument on behalf of any other person that was, that is, or that will ever be. Only in him will you put your trust. For he is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face, and they were so afraid. They became so much afraid of where they were. For when they looked, both Elijah, both Moses, they have disappeared. And only Jesus was seen, glittering like the light of the sun. Glittering like, I don't know, like the brightness of brightness. Brighter than brightness. When they looked at Jesus, they couldn't look at him. And so they bowed their face to the, to the ground. And they worshipped the Most High God. Greater than Moses is here. He has shown you. And God has spoken. That he is greater than Moses. He is greater than Elijah. He is greater than any, any altar. Any mountain. Any monument. Any tabernacle. That you can think of. Any man of God. Any woman of God. No matter how great they, they claim to be, put your trust in only the beloved Son of the Most High God. He is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the great I am that I am. The Rose of Sharon is his name. The bright and morning star. He alone and him alone shall thou serve. Hear him, listen to him, and make sure that you don't derail. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is passing through this medium to tell you that no matter who comes across your way, no matter who comes across your way, you should know. Mala de la Bosca, Libra de la Bosca. Malibra Zendele Bosca. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You should know that Jesus Christ is greater than any. Jesus Christ is greater than anybody here on earth. Hallelujah. Jesus is greater than any man, than any woman that has ever lived. I don't know what you are passing through. Remember that without God, nothing on this earth will ever become beautiful. They will take one thing and give you two other difficult things to handle. Only believe in God and trust in God. And God will show you who he is. Hallelujah. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. And when 
they lifted up their head, their eyes, they saw no man except Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus told them, Jesus charged them saying, tell this vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Hallelujah. Jesus has introduced himself to Peter, to James, and to John, his brother. And so John will not be looking at Jesus again as one of his mother's children. Peter will not be looking at Jesus again as one of those prophets. James will not be looking at Jesus again as one of those pastors who are here on this earth to deceive mankind, they have known that there is difference between Jesus and others. There's a difference between Jesus and Moses. There's a difference between Jesus and Elijah. And he is greater than them all. For he is greater than Jesus is here. Brother, sister, he can handle your case. He can handle your troubles. He can fight your battles. Call unto Jesus. Anytime things are going the wrong way in your life, call unto him. He will answer, he will appear. He will show you who he is. He is the bright and morning star. He will brighten your future. He will brighten your day. He will brighten your business. He will brighten your marriage. He will make your life beautiful. For with Jesus, life is beautiful. God bless you and God bless you indeed.